Hello everybody and welcome back to Scratches. Today is day six. So today we're gonna do four drinks. And um, I don't know about you guys, but my children, especially my older girls, their favorite part of the holidays is all the Starbucks drinks. They are addicted. Brooke goes to Starbucks all the time out by the campus. And Ash loves like the hot chocolate. She's not a coffee drinker, but she loves all the hot chocolates and the other drinks that they have. And Ronnie loves them. She loves to go to Dunkin' or to Starbucks. She prefers Starbucks, but Dunkin' she will definitely go to as well because it's what we have out here right next to us. But um, these drinks are so expensive. They're just, it's crazy. So we are gonna make our own version of those drinks so that they can be enjoyed anytime for a fraction of the cost all throughout the holiday season. And it's also gonna be just more wholesome ingredients, so it's also a little bit better for you. Still a lot of sugar, but it's still a little bit better for you. So today we're gonna to make a gingerbread latte, a peppermint uh, milk steamer, we're gonna make a um, sugar cookie latte, or iced latte, and then we're going to make a white chocolate, hot chocolate. So uh, join us for these wonderful drinks. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start off with the gingerbread latte because Ronnie actually had just got her from school and she said, I wanna do the gingerbread latte. So we're gonna make that first. First we may need to make up a gingerbread syrup. Now this syrup can last in the fridge for a week to two weeks and you can use it on many other things. You can put it in oatmeal, you can use it um, on ice cream, you can put it in a smoothie, you can put it on pancakes like a syrup or waffles. So it can be used for multiple things. Um, so it's just a good little syrup to have on hand, especially during this time of the year when you want everything, you know, gingerbread-y or peppermint and all the wonderful flavors of the Christmas season. All right, so let's get this started. Now start with a saucepan. Okay, so in our saucepan here, you want to start with three-fourths cup of brown sugar. However, I don't have any brown sugar made up, so I'm just going to add three-fourths a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to add some molasses to this. Because that's all brown sugar is, it's just molasses and um, sugar. Okay, then we're going to also add three tablespoons of molasses. So we want to go ahead and add that. It's about one. Two. It's about three tablespoons of molasses. I'm gonna have to get me a new jar. We're gonna do one teaspoon of ground ginger. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I am doing vanilla bean powder, so I'm gonna add my vanilla now. Otherwise, you would, after everything's all done, you would add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm doing about a half a teaspoon of this just pure vanilla powder. We're gonna also add a fourth teaspoon of allspice. And you're gonna to wanna to do about an eighth a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm just doing some freshly ground nutmeg in here. And last, we're gonna add one cup of water. Now you would not do your vanilla in here, again, if you are using vanilla extract, which I'm sure most of you are. You would just add it after we're done boiling this and making it into syrup, then I add it at the end because of the alcohol. Okay, so I'm gonna just turn this on high and we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna simmer it for five minutes. And that's it. Now I'm gonna make up a cup of coffee to go with this. I'm gonna use the Starbucks Holiday Blend, but any kind of work. This is just kind of give it that more Starbucks kind of taste. 
and I'm gonna make it strong, a strong cup of coffee. All right, so now this is boiling and it's starting to get big. So I'm gonna turn this down. So we just want it to simmer for five minutes. And I'm just gonna stir it constantly for five minutes. All right, now this is done. So I'm just gonna move this over and let it cool off a little bit. While we're waiting for that one to cool off, we are gonna make our candy cane syrup for our candy cane steamer. So for this, you could use candy canes, but I find that it's cheaper to just buy mints. And we're just gonna add some mints. I think the directions say to add 12 candy canes. Um, and a cup of water but we're not doing that we're just going to do a few candy cane or a few of these mints and a little bit of water but i will write the the actual ingredients down there So you make as much or as little of this syrup as you want. This is going to be the same rule. It is going to be, um, it can stay in the fridge for one to two weeks. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And then we just want this to melt. So got a little bit of water in here to help this melt. And this will be our candy cane syrup. Now I'm gonna make a steamer with this. So this will be a non-coffee drink. However, a peppermint mocha, this would be perfect to make that. Um, if that's what you like like a Starbucks peppermint mocha. This would be great for that. Again, you can use it in hot chocolate. Make a peppermint hot chocolate. Put it on pancakes or waffles. We're just gonna let this cook for about five minutes as well. All right, so here is this syrup right here, the candy cane syrup. And you can make as much as you wanted or as little as you wanted. I just made a small batch. For the gingerbread, I made a much bigger batch because <laughs> my crew will go after this gingerbread. Really big. All right, next we're gonna make the sugar cookie syrup. So we're gonna start with one cup of water Now this one should have three-fourths cup of white sugar. And then it calls for a fourth a cup of brown sugar. So again, I'm just going to do an extra fourth cup of sugar. And just a little bit of molasses. Then I'm going to add my vanilla now. But if you're using vanilla extract, you just would not add that right now. I have other extracts that I'm going to add as well, so uh, we'll do that at the end. All right, now we're going to bring this to a boil, and then again, we're going to let it simmer for about five minutes. Well, this wanted you to add a tablespoon of vanilla. So definitely more. I did about a teaspoon then of my vanilla bean powder just because it's a much stronger vanilla. We're gonna let this come to a boil and cook it down for five minutes. 
All right, this is starting to boil, so I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. We're going to let this go for five minutes, stirring constantly. Again, this also will last one to two weeks in the fridge. Okay, and then we just remove this from the heat. Now is when you would add your one tablespoon of vanilla. But I'm going to add... Uh, I already added that, sorry. Sorry, cows just got out. I was running all over the yard with them for a minute, so hopefully this is even thick enough. All right, now I'm going to add a half teaspoon of butter extract. This is just stuff I have from candy making, all kind of extracts. And I'm also going to add a little bit of almond extract, about a half teaspoon. And that's it stir this up like i said you would add your one tablespoon of vanilla extract stir it up and this is your syrup sugar cookie syrup we're gonna let that cool for a minute all right so the candy cane syrup i made mine really thick like i mean you can see you can add more water and not make it this thick if you want I did that just so one it'll color the milk pretty and pink and it'll be a good strong flavor but you only need a few tablespoons of it so I'm gonna remove some and just use the same pot and I'm gonna add some milk to it turn this down Add a little whole milk making a bit of a mess and just stir this and that'll all get melty again in here and this will be our steamer and if you want to be pretty just hop your cup with a little bit of um, crushed peppermint candies so maybe we'll do that real quick while this is getting all good and melty. And warmed up. I have some crushed peppermints here. And I have just a little bit of corn syrup. So I think I'm going to move that over. Just a little bit of this. And then with my cup, I'm just going to kind of go in the corn syrup like that. And then over to all my crushed candy cane or crushed peppermints. And then we have a beautiful cup, if you guys can see, lined with a beautiful peppermint candy. Alright, and then we just pour that nice pepperminty milk in there top it with some whipped cream and a little bit of sprinkle of peppermint on top so that is our beautiful peppermint if you guys can see this is so so beautiful all right next next we're going to add some milk whole milk and then just add some white chocolate white chocolate chips the white chocolate bars whatever you have I have some of this melting chocolates left from Christmas and this will be our hot chocolate our white hot chocolate so let's let that get nice and melty in here and let's get our cup ready for that Okay, so the cup for this one, I thought we'd do kind of a frozen theme. So even if you wanted to add like a little bit of, um, oh, that's a lot. Even if you wanted to add a little bit of blue food coloring, you could to make like a blue hot chocolate. We'll just kind of go with like Olaf or frozen theme. So I'm going to just dip this in the, the corn syrup. And then I'm going to do 
the blue icing sugar around the ends, around the ridges. So there is that, just a little bit more right there. So there's that. And then I just added a little vanilla bean powder to this as well, just to make it extra yummy. Now if you wanted to put some of your candy cane syrup in here and do a peppermint hot chocolate, that would be delicious. Put some of your gingerbread syrup in here and make it a gingerbread white hot chocolate. That would be delicious. Put some of your sugar cookie syrup in here. That would be delicious. So, I mean, there's lots of options. Definitely intermix all of these yummy recipes. I'm going to switch. It's getting a little bit hot. Okay, this is done. So now I'm going to pour this. Still some of the chocolate could have melted. Pour this into our cup. Little chunks of chocolate at the bottom. I am making a mess. Then whipped cream. And a little bit of the blue sprinkles on top. Some of these little snowflake sprinkles as well. So I'm gonna do a few of those on top because Theo will love that. And there is that one. Now I gotta wipe up my little mess real quick. Got two more drinks to put together. All right, next is the ice. Um, Ice latte, the ice, uh, what was it? Sugar cookie. So I just have this glass because I want it to be see through so you guys can see it. And I'm going to put just some of these random little sprinkles that are fun on the top because it's just a sugar cookie iced latte. Then I'm going to add ice. This is just a very small one. <laughs> And here I have some espresso. Again, kind of making a mess. And I have our cookie, sugar cookie syrup. Milk. Give us a quick little stir. If I had a sugar cookie, I would just top it with a little sugar cookie as well. But I don't. So we're going to do that. And a few of these yummy little sprinkles. And there is the sugar cookie latte. All right. And then our hot gingerbread latte. You guys, look at this cup. It is one of my favorite little Christmas cups. Can you see it? I think it's so cute. It's a little Christmas dinosaur. Anyway, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of gingerbread syrup to give it that yummy gingerbread taste. This is a hot coffee. Some milk. Top with cinnamon. There you have it, guys. Four amazing drinks. I'll see if I can get Ronnie to come taste test. Charles is at work. All right, Ronnie is going to taste these for you guys. All right, baby girl, which one do you want to go with first? Just pick one. See if you can guess what it is. Is this gingerbread? That one's the hot. And yes, that would be gingerbread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the one she was waiting for. It's going to be hot, though. I love gingerbread. That one's really good. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I need to make some gingerbread tomorrow. Am I drinking out of all of them? Yeah, you can drink out of all of them. Okay. I know. It's a little messy. 
It is a little messy. It's Thun's peppermint something. Peppermint steamer. I don't know what that means. It just is pepperminty. That one's really good too. It tastes like um, like a sweet candy cane, so it's like not spicy. Mm -hmm. It's like sweet. And it doesn't have any coffee or anything in it. Mm -hmm. That one's good too. They all look like that one. Yeah, I thought he'd like that. He'd like all of them really, except mm -hmm. for the gingerbread. Well, no, Kate said he didn't like the mint. The mint. What's this? That one is a sugar, or no, that's white hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I made it look like frozen or Olaf. Olaf. Because Theo loves that. That one's good too. It's probably my least favorite out of all of them. Okay. But I'd drink it. It's just not my favorite. Sugar cookie? Mm hmm. That one's a nice coffee. Mm -hmm. I love iced coffee. Oh, yeah, that one's really good. Not my favorite. This one's probably my favorite. <laughs> I knew gingerbread was. You were excited for gingerbread. But it reminds me of my, my coffee. My iced coffee. Your Dunkin' coffee? Yeah. Except it has creamer in it. That's not creamer. Well, not creamer, but it's like... Yeah. Oh, because you don't do any of the cream in your mm -hmm. coffee. You do a black coffee with, with the syrup. Yeah. Oh. Well, you could still do that with this. It's still good. It, it does taste like a sugar cookie kind of drink, and it's mm -hmm. cute. It is cute, and it would be good with a sugar cookie, I think. Yeah, but I think these are my two favorites. Those two? The peppermint and the gingerbread? Yeah. Alright, go take your gingerbread. <laughs> all right i just tried the gingerbread too mm, that is good i hope you guys make these definitely a great way to save some money it just took a tiny bit minus the part of everybody chasing the cows it would have went a lot quicker it just took a tiny bit for making the syrups now the syrups are ready to go and that's the longest part so now they can be thrown together at any time so hopefully you guys try these coffees and Chocolate, hot chocolate and milk out and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody. Have a great day or night wherever you are.